Welcome, and thank you for coming to the very first concert on the faculty series Together Alone. My name is Naomi Seidman, and I teach flute here at Penn State University. It's been so long since I've been able to perform for a live audience. I'm thrilled to play for you tonight. The first piece you just heard me perform is by the French composer Pierre Faroud. He's little known today, but he showed great promise during his time. In fact, composers like Prokofiev and Poulenc really thought he had something going for him. Unfortunately, his potential was never fully realized as he had an early and untimely death at the early age of 36. I chose this piece because it reflects emotions I've had during these past few months of the pandemic. The first movement is pastoral and brings to mind how even though I feel so much restriction during this new normal, when I get out in nature, I feel free again. And by nature, this could mean a bike ride with my family or even just a walk in the woods. I'm so grateful to have found these moments and this first movement reflected how calming those times have been. Other movements of this piece highlight how in music, interconnectivity and influences are worldwide. And I think we have all experienced this greatly in our own lives during the pandemic. 
in the second and third movement, you heard East Asian influences incorporated into a Western composition. And in my personal opinion, is what makes this piece so very interesting. The next piece you will hear is by our very own Penn State composition professor, Baljinder Sekhan. He wrote this work originally for solo trumpet and it's called Praying Alone. When Andreas and I were brainstorming the series, we wanted to connect the performers, even though they weren't going to collaborate in person with each other. In doing so, we hoped that these performances would showcase how even though we are all are sharing this common experience, the emotions are unique to each person. After speaking with Baljinder, he so graciously agreed to arrange the piece for several different performers on this series. To hear more about his work and his process, please watch the video hosted on our series website. Tonight, I will perform this beautiful and haunting and introspective work on the alto flute.
In addition to reflecting the emotions I have felt during these times of isolation caused by the pandemic, I also wanted this program to be diverse. In my specific field of performing classical music repertoire, I've always felt it to be quite limited, and I know that as musicians, we can do better. In tonight's program, I'm featuring composers from the 20 and 21st centuries. These composers come from varying backgrounds, ethnicities, genders, and race. The next piece that I'm going to perform for you tonight is by Valerie Coleman. You might know her from the time she spent with the Grammy-nominated group The Amani Wins. Or perhaps you heard that she just recently won the 2020 Performance Today's Woman Classical Composer of the Year. If you want to check out a really neat work that she just wrote, look into the Seven O'Clock Shout, commissioned by the Philadelphia Orchestra. The next piece on my program is her work for solo flute. It's a beautiful piece written to reflect the many different variances of butterflies in South America.
The final piece on this program is by British composer Anna Klein. I was supposed to perform this work in April, but the concert got canceled due to the pandemic. I will read Anna's description of the piece and then talk a little bit about why I chose it. Anna's description goes as follows. Hopscotch is inspired by child lore, the folklore or folk culture of children and young people. It includes, for example, rhymes and games played in the school playground. This piece, which takes its title from the game Hopscotch, is both playful and fiery and also incorporates a gentle folk-like melody. During this pandemic, I have spent a lot of time at home with my children. We've all had to adjust to us being home all the time together. I know that my experience is not unique nor is it as easy as it sounds. I want to dedicate this performance to all parents out there and caregivers and grandparents who have been figuring out how to manage being home, working, and staying sane. Thank you again for coming to tonight's performance and I hope to see you all at all the rest. Thank you for coming, be safe, and stay healthy.